Those who spread the word of Islam must strive to first act on their knowledge. In the early days of Islam, to attend a gathering of Islamic knowledge one had to journey for days, but now countless lectures can be found online. Yet, ignorance of the correct path has only increased since the passing of the righteous predecessors. This is because some have acquired knowledge by memorizing verses of the Holy Quran and narrations of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, but have not used them to purify their character. Meaning, they did not act on their knowledge. Those who act like this will lose the power to affect the hearts of others through their advice. Some lecturers are like news bulletins that only provide information without stimulating others to act, thereby failing in their duty to guide others through their God-given knowledge. Non-Muslims are mainly accepting Islam through their own research of Islam, instead of observing a practical example of a successful Muslim. One who desires to spread Islam must make it their priority to purify their character through knowledge. Chapter 61 Asaf, verse 3 Greatly hateful in the sight of Allah is that you say what you do not do. When one ACTS in this way, then a little correct knowledge will have a massive impact on themselves and others. Whereas, those who reject this correct attitude may possess more knowledge, but it will have no positive effect on anybody. This type of person has been described in the Holy Quran. Chapter 62 al jumuah verse 5 And then did not take it on, did not act on their knowledge, is like that of a donkey who carries volumes of books. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com